Where to? What are we doing? I'm do a blunt. A blunt? Yeah. The fakie? Yeah. Zach reckons this is sketchier than doing it on that. This is steeper, maybe makes you feel safer. The issue with it is commitment. The trick's not hard, it's just scary. So whatever one you feel like you would commit to is the one you're gonna wanna do it on. Cause you're gonna probably do it in the first couple tries you try you reckon? it. Yeah. They reckon if you can ollie fakie, then you can do this trick. And yeah. rock and uh, rock to fakie. Yeah, decked out rock to fakie though. Um, yeah, I've never been a decked out kind of dude. Do a decked out rock to fakie, all the way decked. No, you can't do it like that. You gotta come straight in. No, you decked and then you, you adjust it and then came in. Someone told me in Australia that's how you do it. Okay, well someone in Australia was absolutely wrong. All the way and then all the way in. Like that? Yep. Like blunt to fakies feel scary and then you do them and you're like, oh, that's really cozy. Yeah. All right. This is my problem. Your problem is that you just decided to not land it and it was perfect? How much clearance did I have with my front truck? Plenty. Yep. I land mine fakey manual-ish. See, there's people that do that and there's people that do four down. I, I feel like the fakey manual the difference. is scarier, no? I would say aim for four down, but still do the fakey manual for insurance. That's how I do it. Yeah, what? do it. Literally just end the video right now. First try. You can literally just land it right. Let me just see what happens if you actually commit. Fully commit. Super cozy. You're just going to do it right here. That was perfect. Ah, yeah, land it. Right here. That was it. This try, all cock, no balls. Was the last time you did this the day we met? Yeah. And this is an anniversary. That, Are we celebrating the day we met? That was, how many years ago was that? At least Probably three. three. Yeah, three. Yeah. All right. I did this one time in Australia, but it was like the transition was smaller than this. Yeah, it felt safer. Literally this track. My my front foot. It needs to be like here. Your foot can be anywhere, and you're gonna land it. I feel like if I'm more like with the palm of my foot like this, it stops the board from like flipping. Keating around, yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit more secure for sure. You're just taking your foot off. You're doing the trick every try. Yeah, that was really good. Both feet this try, no matter what. No matter what, you have to try this try, both feet. Oh, Two in a row. I wanted to take my foot off so bad. Two in a row. No taking your foot off. Ah, you son no. of a bitch. Like that time it looked like you wanted to take your foot off and then you didn't. I didn't, yeah. See what happens if you just keep your foot on the whole time. Like don't, like blind confidence right no, here. I'm trying to like be mindful of like, put my foot on, put my foot on. Keep your weight in transition. Yeah, 100%. And you don't need pop. to get on top. People reckon you gotta go on top first and then come back. It depends on the way you wanna do it. I, I basically have no body weight on top. I feel like that's safer. I think so. It's if more you cozy. Stay in transition. Yeah. I feel like that's a secret. What's the secret? I gotta hang my toes off the front of the my front edge a bit. Oh, like kind of heel flippy? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I feel like when it's there, I have more control over the pop coming back in. When it's like here, my foot kind of goes this way. Yeah. I think the only issue you're having is when you go to pop, you take your back foot off and then put it back on. Is like that the ones that you land, you're literally bailing and then bailing the bail and landing it. What? Yeah. It like, feels like, kind of funky. Yeah. Like you're taking your back foot off all crazy. Yeah, that back foot bail stuff scares me. No more of that. Keep it on. I don't know how to keep it on, like... That last try that you just slipped out on, you kept it on. You just need to be super confident. 
I feel like when I get a nice pop, it's easier to hold my tail back on, like my foot on the tail. But when I do a shit pop, it's like, ugh. It does, your foot's not falling off the board though. You're literally blunting and then kicking your foot off the board like to put it on the ground. And then you decide not to put it on the ground and you put it back on the board. Like it looks very like you're using the muscles in your leg to pull it away from the board, not the pop is taking your foot away from the board. Really? Yeah, it looks like it's a fear, fear thing. Fear factor. Joe Rogan approved. Like that. Yeah, see, I want to do it like a solid one like that. I like smacking my back truck down like a manual. <laughs> That's usually how I do it. Yeah. So it still makes a loud sound, but it's taking manually. <laughs> All right. No matter what, both feet, you're not allowed to bail this one. Just take the slam or the make. Wall, dude. That mental wall. It's like one of those things where even when you get in wrong, you still have to commit to that try. Like you just have to commit. I just want to get in like good. But still doing that thing. Do it again. See what I mean? Yeah, but do it again, two in a row. Full commit. Perfect. Do it again. Tell me how you feel. What do you feel like? I was like? like looking. I was like, I'm going to just pop back and I'm just going to concentrate on looking here. And it works. But you know when you have to do a trick a bunch of times to really feel the muscle fucking memory and everything? Let me get another couple of nice ones. Yeah. You should do at least like three more. Yeah. That was a good one. Like you had confidence in that one, I could see it. Yeah, yeah, you have this trick now. Do it again. It's a weird thing, it's like... Yeah. I feel... It's all commit. It's all it is. It's all commit. Because generally, it's pretty cozy. Like, if you keep your weight in transition and just trust the pop and like just hold it, but I just kept thinking like, oh my God, I'm coming backwards down transition. I'm going to hang up or I'm going to slip out. Yeah. So I, I think like you're gone. It's like if I set up my toes like this, I have more grip on this side of my foot mm. to come back. But yeah. The back foot, I can tell my back foot, there's a gap yeah. from the tail. It's That's not that it's it, like it's getting less and less though. Really? I think the issue with Blonte Fakies is when you're trying them, you're thinking about your body weight being on the coping and the way that you're thinking about being in transition is your body weight being up here and doing the loop out. When in yeah. fact, when you try to commit to it, it's exactly like you're just riding up quarter pipe and pumping back the fakie. Yeah. Like the gravity is not gnarly. It's pulling you back into transition. Yeah. Land below your board. If you land with your body weight a little bit below your board, you can't slip out. Yeah. Yeah, you got this trick. Dude, again, dude. Third try though. But it's, like, but you did. Yeah. Three goes. Yeah. Is that that's like triple piss off? <laughs> it is. Apparently, this used to be this. Yeah. Because then the arches, they would cut arches' um, fingers off so they couldn't. So is that, that why that they came, had that? Yeah, that's why they go ha ha. Because it means that the index finger was chopped off because they were. <laughs> apparently. So you can do a nose, another nose side big spin this try? I'll try. Fourth try? It doesn't really feel like big spin though. But it's, it? two, it's 270 shove. That's what I would call it. What's the technical name for it? Nose slide 270 shove? 270 shove. We used to call them nose slide McCrazies, but 270 shove I think is the technical term. McFlurry. It's not big spin at all. That was horrible. Go a little faster. Yeah. If I was more zoomed out, I would have got the best thumbnail of you just <laughs> airing. Like, <laughs> you were. What? I just, my weight was wrong? You just, uh, I don't know what happened there, to be honest.
Well, that was good. Dude, these, these get in your head. The wall? Yeah, well, 100%. I feel like I can't get the proper angle. Even though I've got plenty of space, it just like rocks me. Yeah, like I said, you, you feel the presence of something close by and it alters your body weight. It's in your peripherals. Yeah. That wax did nothing. Why is it? Do I just need to wax the guts out of it? I think, well, I think it's you're digging in too soon and that's what's causing you to stick. But mostly I got to change this angle so next time you stick like that and go flying through the air, I can get a thumbnail out of it. That is a real thing. Like people who do, do gymnastics and people who skateboard, I think, are, I mean, you know, free runners, anything that involves yeah. this sort of discipline. Like you're good at falling. Like you're good at being in the air and losing your balance, and rolling down the window and then like fixing it. Yeah, because have you ever seen like, I don't know, like a normal person fall down like a yeah. set of stairs or something like that? Unco. Yeah, it literally looks like they're an NPC. You know, they're, they're doing nothing to upright their gravity. They're just like accepting what happens. Yes. What the fuck am I doing, dude? Like I've seen slinkies resist gravity more than they do down the stairs. Yeah. Soon, partner. Oh, she My favorite thing about Sean is sometimes you get random facts. He just points to the keys like, oh, gum tree, gum eucalyptus, tree. Ko koalas. They got chlamydia. They got chlamydia. <laughs> That's apparently how Harry Styles got chlamydia in Australia. Was a, a, a koala pissed on him or something? No. Like this. That's a rumor. There's a more logical. That's like, that's like Virgin Mary shit. You know what sucked though? If that's actually what happened, like no one believes it, but like that might have actually been what happened. He got pissed on by a koala and he got familiar from his eyes or something. Yeah. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get Trigger Man, bring him to me, cause I'm tired of this Trigger Man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas Special Order, me a man to name it, do all that.